What is hope and why is it important? I'll firstly clarify the definition of hope, which is an emotional and positive drive that gives people the ability to create and reach their desired goals. In addition, throughout the presentation, I'll be referencing a specific situation where hope theory can be applied. Throughout the presentation, I'll be referencing athletic rehab, as during this time of adversary, it's important to apply hope theory throughout the athlete's recovery, as the athlete is sustaining many mental and physical issues which can ultimately result in the decline of their athletic performance and their mental well-being. However, with the help of hope theory, they can get back to peak performance and sustain their mental health again. So hope theory is basically a theory that was created along the newly found positive psychology which aims to focus on promoting positives of human thought rather than minimizing the negatives. Uh, hope theory's overall aim is getting people to advance their hope by not only thinking positively but to believe in those thoughts as well. Through its unique and simple structure, the theory helps people achieve their goals with efficiency and effect. It is important for improving an individual's well-being by helping them remain positive during adversity and preparing them for adversity in general. So hope theory is broken down into three phases, the learning history phase, pre-event phase, and the event sequence phase. Throughout each phase, the athlete will have to consult several thinking and goal-directed mechanics. In addition, each phase will be met with certain barriers or stresses that will attempt to interrupt the athlete's recovery. An example can be the new younger player that took the athlete's spot, which can be mentally draining for the athlete as they feel they are being replaced. Firstly, the athlete will set a goal which will generally be to get back to full fitness and start playing again. From this step, the athlete will set minor goals such as when they would like to start walking again or how much weight they would like to be lifting at a certain point. This all depends on the context of their situation. Furthermore, this goal needs to be achievable yet difficult to encourage them to continue and reinforce their progress. Athletes will then need to include a mix of agency thinking and pathway thinking. As agency thinking is their personal motivation for why they want to achieve their goal, which for most is because it's what they love doing and what they love doing makes them feel good. This drive will help them establish pathway thinking, which are physical routes that will help the athlete reach their end goal, such as uh, start walking before you can run. These routes need to be flexible to counter any barriers and there should be multiple thought out ones to help the athlete continue with minimal pauses during their recovery. Without pathway thinking, the athlete's agency thinking would eventually plateau due to lack of success. Finally, athletes need to consult their outcome value which tells them if all this time and effort is worth it or if they should move on. Biologically, hope plays a crucial role in our survival as it helps develop a healthy well-being by creating positive moods and sustaining those moods. Ultimately, this means that hope is limitless and therefore hope theory can be applied in a range of scenarios and anybody can do it. It's just about understanding how to do it. Once people understand how to do it, any goal can be achieved, no matter how difficult or how easy it may seem.